Grant Holloway, all said and done. Florida's the, the team champion. You got the American record. You ran the four by four. I mean, how was it? it was overall, it was a great meet. You know, God's blessed each and every one of us with a talent, and luckily, mine's you know, motivating, putting people, putting, putting smile on people's faces, and running fast on the track. So, um, you know, I'm gonna take this this meet for grain of salt. On Monday, start getting ready for outdoors because I think everybody knows what my ultimate goal is. You know, be the first collegiate to run sub 13. So, I'm gonna take all of this. You know, celebrate it, have fun with it. And afterwards, we're going to get ready to go back to games. We're going to get ready to work. What does 735 tell you about your ability to run sub-13? Um, I mean, it says I'm in good shape. I mean, I've been telling everybody I've been in good shape for a long time. You know, it's like my first actual season where I'm healthy, no nagging injury. So, you know, I'm blessed to, to have a healthy season. You know, like I said, we're going to take this meet with a grain of salt and get ready to move forward. I mean, how was it in the four events? Was, was there any doubt in your mind that you would end up making it to the finish line and doing well and all of that? Um, you know, not really that doubt because, you know, when negative thoughts come in my mind, I usually hit the delete button because, you know, um, it's just if you have that negative thought, that negative thought or, you know, if you have that demon inside you saying you're not good enough, you're not fast enough, you're not cute enough, you know, so forth, you're going to start believing that type of stuff. So whenever a negative thought comes to my mind saying like, oh, Dan Roberts is going to win this race or Trey Cunningham is going to win this race or Divine is going to beat me, I, I delete it and, you know, I just come back out and, you know, just try to give my fourth best effort. The fact that you you ran the fastest 60, you, you won the title. I Will that change? Will you add a flat sprinting event outdoors? Um, we'll, we'll look at the schedule and, you know, see what the schedule says. Coach Holly and I will talk, you know, and then we'll, we'll evaluate then. What do you think you're better at, the 100 or the 4? 400 hurdles. Right there. So you mentioned, I mean, going sub 13, obviously a big goal outdoors, but you just broke the American record today All right. in the 60 hurdles. Does that hit you? I mean, it hasn't hit me yet. You know, we, I'm over here celebrating a team title with the boys. You know, um, I haven't even watched the film. You know, all I'm going off is just how I ran, but you know, God's blessed me, so I'm gonna just take this, take it all, take it all in, and then when it, when the times come, ship it back out. And the six, the sixty. I mean, how, how tall are you? Uh, six two, one one ninety. Guys that tall usually don't do that well in the sixty. I mean, how 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 do you do it? How do you get a good start? How do you run up? Break the norm, baby. <laughs> Grant, uh, Grant uh, obviously you're all uh, all about team, and it's been a team goal. But uh, but if you'll indulge me just for a moment. Most points by any individual ever in a championship meet. It's one thing to aspire to that challenge. It's another thing to, you know, to execute yeah. and live through that challenge. What does that mean to you? You know, so many people looked up to me as a role model and also, you know, just someone that that they can relate to. So, you know, I'm just trying to set a set a goal, set a norm for for the next generation to come. Because, you know, uh, it's just our we're 90s baby right now in this in this in this in this sport. In a couple of years, the 2000 baby is gonna start coming in. And, like, hopefully they see me as, you know, how I look up to Terrence Chamel, someone looking up at me as, you know, as their as their role model. So, you know, I'm just trying to set a new norm because the norm that we have now in the United States and also around the world kind of sucks. But, you know, it's all about inspiring and making everybody happy. What, 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 about, what about a guy like, uh, to that point, what about a guy like Daniel Roberts, too? Yeah. I mean, he ran faster than you had yeah. ever run before. That's what I'm trying to say. It's just, it, it sucks. You know what I mean? Like, just because I'm in, in, in like, Daniel Roberts basically just broke a collegiate record. So did I. But ultimately, it goes to me because I beat him in a race. If that was any other year, granted, Daniel Roberts would be a national champion. But like, like I said, Daniel Roberts and I have been competing for about five, six years now. So we're used to the competition. We're used to making each other better. And you know, next year is going to be his year. So tell everybody to watch out. Well, next year is going to be his year. Right. You, you have you would technically have another year left. Yeah. That, yeah. Shit. <laughs>